Hey guys, Coco here, reading the best tip tricks and tutorials to make having fun affordable. In today's video, we are doing one of my favorite themes, which is a glam safari theme balloon garland. So um, you can use this for a baby shower, you can use this for um, a one-year-old party. I just wanted to basically go back to basics and have like a straight balloon tutorial, start to finish, no real backdrop, just I will have a power tip at the end to show you guys how I hang it on the wall without a stand. So, um, but real quick, I just wanted to go over the colors for today. Um, I'm really feeling it. I'm, I'm feeling the colors today. So I just want to go over that real quick. So let me turn my camera around. Okay, so today we are using the Batalics white sand we have four sizes for that of course any sizes that i actually use i will put in the description below i don't always use all the sizes that i purchase it kind of just depends then we have the same brand metallics but this is the deluxe eucalyptus that we have in three sizes um, we have metallics the reflex um, I couldn't get the gold reflex by itself, so I had to buy the assortment of both the 11 inch and the assort the assorted 5 inch. So um, we're going to use these gold ones as accents, and this is a 5 and 11 inch in here. And then we also have, um, oh, sorry, <laughs> skipped ahead. Uh, we also have metallic green. Check this out, guys. Like, I got some new containers to store my balloons. I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, so the, these are GMAR. This is 12-inch metallic green and then 5-inch metallic green GMAR. And then I also got these Qualitex um, assorted animal print balloons. I had these for a while, um, so I still don't know if I'm going to use them. I have yet to uh, figure out a way to incorporate them because every time I try and match them to something it's just I don't know I don't like how it looks so we'll see how this works um if I use them of course I will put it in the description below but uh that is all the balloons for our color scheme so let's get started more than two sizes of the metallic green and reflex gold i'm actually just going to tie these tie the larger sizes in dupes and then add them into the garland as accents later on once i hang the main base assembling our base is just making sure that we have enough stretch on our um 260s also just keeping a color pattern 
that's easy to follow. So if you aren't the main person that's designing the garland and say you have someone assisting you, um, you wanna just keep a consistent pattern to be able to tell them how to continue the pattern or how to um, construct the garland if you are doing something else. So um, we're gonna start with our, our white sand. We're gonna start there first, and then um, I think I'm gonna do white sand, and then a little bit of gold, then the eucalyptus, then the metallic. No, no. <laughs> okay, no, I think I'm gonna do white sand, then the metallic green, then the eucalyptus, then the gold, and then repeat that pattern. So, um, because our gold and our metallic green didn't have as many sizes, um, I just want to kind of sprinkle them in there. I don't want them to be like their whole, a full color block, maybe like a mini color block. So we're going to do that. So this first section is our biggest cluster that we have. So um, since I want this to be at the bottom sitting on the ground i am going to start by um, start here at the top with this one so what i'm going to do is basically take a 260 a full 260 and i'm going to start not at the top maybe like a couple a couple balloons down um and we're going to start at this end and we're just gonna get that in there in the center. And then do the double knot that we've been doing with the other 260s. And maybe even triple knot it because this is the start, so we don't want it to be too. And then you kind of just want to see how your balloons are falling. So I want this to kind of look like this when you're viewing it. So I'm going to want my 260 to come out here to continue the balloons on. So I'll put this down on the ground. And our next color was the metallic green. <laughs> um, and I think for that, I'm probably going to use maybe like two of them. Two dupes. Um, so you just want to stretch. Gosh, you want to grab your... Grab the balloons that you're adding. Stretch this by wrapping it around your hand as far as much as you can. And then wherever you are placing the balloons, you're gonna grab it in the middle and push down. And then you're just gonna wrap it around. I like to wrap it around twice. And then wrap it around one of the balloons below it. And then come back up in like a swivel and then come back to where I started. So that's one dupe added. And then I'm gonna add another set. So keeping in mind where you want it, you're gonna remember grab it in the middle, pull the 260 around, push down with the hand that is holding the balloons, wrap it around twice, then want the new set of balloons, and then find your figure eight do a figure eight around the balloons that are beneath the balloons that you just tied on. So this would be the look balloon that I that I is below it. So I'm just gonna go around that in a figure eight. And then hopefully you have enough to come back to the middle and then tie that off. Um, so Depending on how many wrap, how much wrapping you do, it di that dictates how many 260s you're going to use. So that's probably most likely. That's why people like to use fishing line because um, you're never going to run out of fishing line. But at the same time, I don't know. I just I just feel like using a 260 gives it more friction. But that's what I prefer. So our next color is the eucalyptus. So 
so that is this is our next color and we're just gonna repeat the same method are attaching your garland to the wall you want to make sure one that the surface is clean there's no dust or anything like that also um, you want to kind of at least use three points so right now I'm going to show you how I do the middle point um, that way um, you know I don't have to stand on the ladder um, but this is going to be the middle point and then I'm gonna have a higher point up there and then a lower point down near the floor just to make it just to do the cascading look. Okay, so now I'm going to hang up our base in the three points that you see here. And then once we have our base hung up, we're gonna add our five inch balloons. Okay, so basically what I did was I used the two strands of 260 that are on the wall as um, kind of like as hands hugging the balloon and then I wrapped either side around at least one of the balloons on the garland. So I am going to add some um, balloons down here at the bottom um, but then also just kind of fill in the gaps with our 5 inch and go from there. Basic that I that was the takeaway from this video is the attaching the balloon to the wall. So hopefully um, that you know idea was helpful because I know a lot of people may not have 3M command strips or they may not have um, anything to hook the wall or they want don't want to damage their walls. So I highly 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 recommend using gaffer's tape. If you enjoyed the tips on this video. Um, it was basically a straightforward tutorial. So if you enjoyed that, then click on your screen right now to see more. <laughs>